Yes, uh, here we are in Carolina, just finished up. Uh, not the result we wanted, but a lot of good lessons from the game. All right, thanks, Coach. First hand up uh, today is Daniel Sperry, KC Star. Hey, Coach. Um, I know, you know, that lineup, you're, you're working with what you've got there, but um, just tell me a little bit about the reason to go out with the bat, the four, four, three, three, four, two, three, one, whatever you'd call it there. Um, and maybe what you were hoping to get out of using that formation today. Well, I think, uh, part of it is, uh, you know, being at Carolina on the road for our first game, we had an idea in our scouts and how they would look, um, but to your point, I think we were more concerned about putting the players in a position with their qualities that they could express themselves. Uh, we didn't get off to the brightest of starts in terms of the, our quality in possession or our desire to get on the ball, but we still created little half chances here and there. But yeah, overall, it's more about the strengths of the people that we had uh, available and we believed in them. And, you know, obviously we're the wrong side of a 1-0 game. And then uh, I didn't, I don't know what, what happened there with Elizabeth Ball at the end of the match, though. There is, is that an, a knee injury that she picked up or uh, is that is that something that's potentially looking serious for you guys? No, I think it was uh, more um, hamstring related, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure of where we're at. That'll be the medical team to to figure all that out. But but hopefully, you know, she's a tough, tough player. She'll be uh, ready to go for next week. And then uh, you get three rookies in there, um, or maybe more, uh, with uh, Douglas, not Douglas, Robinson, uh, Spanstra, and Cooper. Just your thoughts overall on their play um, and how they handled uh, the moment of week one. Well, I think the beauty of all three is their talent in moments you could see, uh, but you also could see the the growth that they need to still go in terms of getting used to the pace of the game. Um, but, uh, but again, I think that the fact that we started those three plus Mimi Larson, um, you know, speaks to, again, we, we trust the players uh, that we have available. They, they show moments where they could create and they show moments where uh, we felt that we could basically go on to get back into the game. But in terms of the three rookies, yeah, I think, you know, they've now got that out of the way and now they can go express themselves even more. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Up next, Thad Bell from Blue Testament. Uh, good afternoon, coach. Uh, sorry for the result. You spoke about, you know, they get that out of the way that first game. How much of that is a, a really significant growing part for the for the rookies and for the, the new players to the league? Well, I think the journey early in the season is trying to see where you're at. And and obviously the, uh, the whole idea of the league is to get results when you can get them. So, um, you know, we were competitive statistically in the game. We probably didn't feel that we gave as great an account of ourselves for, a, for an opener, but that's going to happen sometimes. And, you know, credit to Carolina in that sense. But but for us, we'll, we'll go back, take a look at the film and, and go from there. But again, to your point, with a lot of new faces, it's it's going to give us the pictures to see how we can grow, and that's what we want to do. And it did seem that North Carolina, you know, had the the bulk of the better of the play, but you guys definitely had moments where you were turning it. And, and did I don't, it was it just not successful in maybe keeping those moments going, keeping that possession, and stringing those passes together? But yeah, maybe uh, one more pass or one more moment of individual um creativity um uh, and and like you said we put ourselves in good positions but when you get in those positions you have to to look to finish them so now we 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 grow from this moment and that's what we told the players but th the most important thing we always have to remember is we can't get in our, in our own way when we're trying to do that and um things aren't always going to go the way you want so we just have to stay true to who we are and how we can be who we want to be all right, thanks, Dad. Up next, Sandra Herrera, CBS Sports. Hey, Coach Potter. Uh, thanks for the time today. I just wanted to ask you um, maybe to expand a little bit more on Michelle Cooper. What, what were some of the things that you and the coaching staff um, tasked the young rookie with, and, and how would you say she fared in, in her assignments tonight? Well, I was excited to see them out there. I mean, that speaks to their talent. You know, she came up against two 
really seasoned players in the league now that they have an understanding of uh, of how to look for the moments when players such as Michelle are trying to influence. And I thought they really did a good space, a uh, good idea of taking away her space, both in front of her and behind her, especially in the first half. Second half, you saw that she kind of found ways to get involved a little bit more, but that's going to be the growing for her this year. Um, she comes in with, with personality that we're excited to have as part of our group. And she comes in with, obviously making the scouting report of an opponent. So uh, we've got to allow her the time to adjust to, to the league and, and how things are that much quicker or spaces are that much smaller. So, yeah, but I think, you know, the most important thing is she's got that game under her belt and now she can grow from there. Great. Thanks so much. Good luck next week. Thank you. Thanks, Sandra. We're going to go back now to Daniel Sperry <clears throat> from the Kansas City Star. Hey coach, just one other observation there with the back, with having the back four, what it is, um, does, did, did you feel like maybe that limited the ability for players like Mason Delfava to get forward, knowing that they have a lot more space behind them to, to defend, especially with a player like Caroline, who seemed to be kind of trying to live in that pocket of space behind Haley Mason the first half. Yeah, for sure. I mean, sometimes you got to give up something to get something. So if we want Haley to be, uh, personality to go forward, then that's going to leave spaces where we might be vulnerable behind. I thought overall we did a a good job of of managing you know a player such as Carolyn. She's she's such a wonderful one v one player. She's got great pace and her timing of her movements fantastic. So she's going to get moments. It's not that. It's about controlling the moment when she finds it. So overall, I thought we did a good job of that. Um, Statistically, we'll see how that looks, and obviously, we'll go now look at the film and see how it how things came together. All right, thanks, Daniel. We're going to go to Karen Kornacki from KNBC. Coach, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Fine, thank you. When you guys, I think I counted right, ten corners. Are you a little disappointed you didn't get what you wanted out of that? Well, it's certainly an area that we pride ourselves, both sides of the ball, that uh, we've created, you know, on numerous occasions in the past. Yeah, yeah. Our, our execution wasn't quite there. Um, but every now and then you have those days and you have those moments. And uh, today wasn't our day in that sense. But, yeah, to create them is one thing. Now we've got to execute moving forward. So that will be our ambition. And the other thing is, I mean, you guys had such a spectacular year last year. Do you feel now when you step on the field, especially for this that or, you know, this first game <laughs> that everybody's looking at you different, expecting you more, playing you harder? Um, you know, you were all the way in that championship game and there could be a bigger target. now. Well, I think the beauty of the league is the parity is there for all to see. Um you know, in terms of do we have a, a bigger sticker on our back? I, I, I don't necessarily think so, because I think, you know, from inside of it <laughs> last year, we seem to get the best of everybody, especially towards the second half, latter part of the season. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure it's about getting the, the best of a team now that because of last season, but uh, clearly um, this game showed that we we're going to have to rise to the level of, of any game and any opponent. And that's something we can focus on in terms of our ourselves. So that's what we'll continue to strive to do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Do we have any other questions for coach? Okay, we're gonna let him go. And then we're gonna come back with Michelle Cooper and Haley Banks. <laughs> Thanks coach. Thank you.